Hey, I hope you are having a great day. In this video, I am going to show you how to generate multiple entry points and using the Webpack common chunks plugin, how you can use the multiple entry points to extract the common dependencies between multiple different entry points uh, and generate a common bundle. So let me just dive into it and let me just show you demo how it looks like. So currently I have a Webpack set up to generate a single entry point and see what it does when you do it. So when I do npm start, it runs a webpack dev server and generates uh, a, an output bundle for me. So now if I go navigate to the local host 3443, uh, I have this simple React app, uh, which renders a Hello World component with the React logo. And now, uh, so, if you do the hard reload so every asset gets downloaded freshly, you will see it generates an output bundle called app.js and it has a whooping size of 3.6 MB for a, such a small app. And so that's very, not very nice. So what we can do with the Webpack is, I have the Webpack set up with the multiple entry points using CommonJS plugin. And now if I do npm start, and uh, refresh this page. You will see now I have two bundles. One is called app and another one is called commons and it's divided into two bundles. CommonJS is quite bigger and the app bundle is quite smaller. It's just 1.3 MB. Uh, so what are the advantages of this approach? Is if you have multiple routes who have the common dependencies, you can extract them into this common bundle. So your app code remains much smaller and also you can cache this common bundle so uh, every component doesn't have to download it. So that's what we are going to do. So let's see how we can do it. So now let me switch back to the single entry point branch. So I'll walk you through how the single entry point is working. So I'm telling Webpack, hey, uh, take this file as your entry point and generate an output file called app.js or a bundle. And this is HTML Webpack plugin. It's very helpful when you have a dynamically generated uh, bundles. What uh, it's doing is it's generating an index.html file uh, using this index.tpl.html. It's an HTML template and it's going to inject the output bundle inside this generated index.html. So if I run npm start, and refresh this page, uh, if I navigate to the index.html page, you can see that it uh, this HTML Webpack plugin injected this app.js script inside my generated HTML page. So that's very helpful um, and that's what it's doing. Uh, other things to note is I have this validator uh, have utility function which validates uh, a Webpack uh, config file. It's very helpful if you are learning the Webpack so it gives a nice error message regarding the typos. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, in here. Now let's switch back to our multiple entry points file and see how we can convert this single entry point file into the multiple entry points. So now here what I'm doing is uh, my router.js uh, has all these dependencies on React, React DOM and React Router. So what I can do is I can create an, another entry point called Vendor which will consist of all this modules. And then in the common JS, uh, also now as I have multiple entry points in the output, I need to generate a dynamic bundle because multiple entry points cannot have a single output folder, a single output file. So I need to tell it, hey, for this entry point, generate this bundle and for this entry point generate another bundle. So it's going to generate two bundles called app-chunkhash.js and vendor 
uh, vendor.chunkhash.js. Chunkhash is a dynamically generated uh, uh, hash number from the webpack. So now let's see how we can use common JS plugin to extract the common dependencies between multiple entry points. So what we can do is uh, we can tell webpack, hey, uh, generate a bundle called commons hash JS using this two entry points. So what webpack is going to do, it's going to look at this, both of the bundles and extract the common dependencies between this two bundle and generate a common bundle called commons hash.js. And you can refer to this bundle with the commons at other places. So now as we have a one common bundle, we need to tell the HTML webpack plugin how to generate index.html. We are telling HTML webpack plugin that hey generate index file but inject the app entry point as well as the comma entry point so you will see uh, it will inject two script tags into our html page so let's see how that's done so now if i start the uh, server with the multiple entry points and see the index page Let's see if I can show it to you. So here I have this one comments a script tag for the comments JS file and another script tag for the app JS file. So you see it uh, generated an HTML page with the two source files. And in the network tab, as you can see, it has two bundles. Uh, uh, this are if I do the hard reload with the control shift B, you can see the app bundle is quite small. Uh, some other gotchas with this is like, uh, you don't need to uh, pass this file name. It's not mandatory. It's going to work without it. Uh, but then it's going to complain that, hey, you need to use hash instead of a chunk cache. So it's better to use the file name um, here. And another thing to notice, I'm using the path.join. Uh, s s to make sure that it works on the, all the platforms uh, of Windows, Mac and Linux and here I have just requiring these files and uh, I have this other utility functions to make this config file uh, more easy re readable uh, I hope this video helped you uh, in learning how to generate how to use how to configure commons plugin to generate multiple bundles uh, if you find this video helpful please leave a feedback and if you want to learn more about webpack leave your comments and i'll try my best to generate more videos thanks for your time